Ghostman Horror here with another little horror story, Silver Coin. In when I was in school, my best friend Jessica was really into scary stories, ghosts, and urban legends. She seemed to know every creepy tale. It was. She said she read all about them on a scary website she always went to. At the time, we all loved listening to very stories and urban legends she told us. Oh, through All her friends heard about the slit mouth woman, Kashima Guru, and other weird Japanese legends. Some of them really terrified me. One day Jessica invited her myself and two of our friends Margaret and Sophie to sleep over at her house. That evening after school we all followed Jessica home and went up to her bedroom. She started talking about a new Japanese legend she had read about and begged us to do a Ouija board. With her, I told her I didn't want to mess around with the occult, but she said it wasn't an actual Ouija board, but a Japanese version of the game she had seen on a scary website. is called Kuhuru Karare San. Because it was Japanese and didn't involve submarine demons, I guess I thought it would be Okay, okay, but just to be safe, we should play with a silver coin, said Sophie. Okay, but why, asked Jessica. I heard if you play an Ouija board with a silver coin, it protects you against being possessed, she replied. Luckily, Man Jessica's mother had a coin collection, so she took one of the silver coins out of its case and brought it up to the bedroom. We sat in a circle on a bedroom floor while Jessica drew the board, putting letters and numbers on it. When she finished, she placed the coin in the middle of the board with a weird, squiggly red shape she drawn and we started to play Kurai San. You put a finger on a silver coin, and Jessica called out, Kurai San, Kurai San, please come and play with us. The rest of us had never heard or read anything about it, so we really didn't know what we were doing. When the coin suddenly started to move, we were all shook. After a while, we were having a lot of fun and spent time, time, asking the spirit as many questions as we could come up with. Who does Gerard like, me or Jessica? I asked it suddenly. The coin quickly said across the board, I spat up my name. I knew it. It squealed, I squealed with delight. Jessica wasn't so happy. We were all grinning stupidly at each other. It was like we found a new playmate. However, as we asked the spirit more and more questions, I noticed something seemed a little strange. Whenever we asked the spirit a question, instead of answering yes or no, it always spelled out, Okay! Because of this, it was difficult to figure out what the spirit's real answer was. As we continued playing, it grew dark outside. We eventually ran out of questions to ask. We started to call it a day and go home. Jessica said it was important to end the game properly, or something bad could happen. Kumushi-san, Kumushi-san, please go back to the other world, she called out. A coin moved over to O. Then K. That's not right, said Jessica. The woman, a worried voice, is supposed to go to yes. Ask it again, I suggested. 
Call me Sam, call me Sam. Please go back to the other world, Jessica demanded. Again, the spirit spelled out, Okay, you're supposed to go to yes. And then stop on the red Tory gate, here's Jessica, but he's not doing it. You all try to tell the spirit to return to the other world, but it was no good. You kept spelling out, Okay, did you go, did you go back home, asked Jessica. Okay, did you really go back home, she demanded. Okay, please go away, she shouted. Okay, no matter what we said, you just wouldn't leave. The movement between the two letters gradually got faster and faster. Eventually the silver coin was lying back and forth between the two letters of dizzling, dizzling speed. It was all we could do to just to keep our fingers on the coin. We were all terrified. Yes, it was as if the spirit was out of control, taking over the board and the coin. There was nothing any of us could do. We sat there watching in horror as the silver coin slipped back and forth again. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All four of us started to freak out. Margaret Sophie came crying. Jessica was wide-eyed and had tears in her eyes. My heart was pounding so fast I thought it was going to leap out of my body. I can't take this anymore, more, I cried. We had all looked at Jessica. All right, she shouted, taking control of the situation. Here's what we're going to do. We're all going to take our, our fingers off the coin at the same time. We all immediately agreed. All right, the count, all right, on the count of three, she said. One, two, three. All that is except me. I didn't know why, but for some reason, it was my finger that stuck to the silver coin. I couldn't let it go. The coin continued sliding back and forth at dizzying speeds. I was so terrified. I couldn't even think. I burst into tears and started screaming, What's happening? Help me! Over and over again. It was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. Even today, I'm not sure if I'm fully... We c- okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay.